Hey you guys, it's Dash from Bloom Where You're Planted and we are going somewhere exciting. We're going to Tractor Supply in Wiley to get something that I have wanted for a couple of years now. Um, so I asked my knight in baseball cap and jeans if I could borrow the truck and he always, he always says, uh oh, why do you need the truck? Why can't you fit in the van, right? So he asked if it was expensive and I said no and then he asked if it was alive and I said no, if it were alive I'd, I'd probably put it in the van because someday I'm going to get it go, but not today. Today I'm getting something else. Usually Lucy would be with me, but she's sick. So the quiet one has come along and very graciously and he, he he's a lot, there's a lot less giggling with him along, um, but he knows how to tie knots. I was honestly surprised when we got it. We got it. a 16 foot cattle panel. We got four green T posts, if you can see that. They're six feet tall. And it was a little bit tricky um, to get it in. It looks like a fort. Yeah, we're hoping it stays in all the way home. It's just like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a metal rainbow. Yes, it is. So I guess you guys can guess what I'm gonna do with this. What are you gonna do with that? I am gonna have a tunnel trellis. I'm gonna grow plants on it so we can Ooh. walk underneath it in the front yard ah. garden. So I'm super excited. Cool. I'm so glad I brought the quiet one with me because him and the really nice man here at Tractor Supply helped us. Um, get that in the back of the truck and now he's tying it down. This is where the knot tying skills come into play. <laughs> Just one advantage to having an Eagle Scout. <laughs> Thank you, Johnny. It might bounce around a little, but it's not going anywhere. Awesome. Okay, wish us luck, you guys. Think we can get home with this <laughs> in the back of the truck? Okay. We made it! Woo! guys I got my hour in the garden this morning but I'm really unmotivated have you ever been putting something off that you know you have to do it's kind of the hard part before you get to the fun part yeah I'll show you why in order to put my tunnel trellis up right here between these two beds I have to replace this piece of wood it was all rotted so I took it off so that is a lot easier said than done so that's what I'm going to work on on my hour this morning. Okay, you guys, I think I got it. Homestead victory. I think my wild one is going to come home later from school and he's going to help me replace it. And we're going to do something new to it to help preserve it. You'll see. It'll be good. One step closer to my tunnel trellis right here, guys. It's going to be so cool. This is what I wanted to show you guys. I build my raised beds out of pine boards and they have been rotting a lot quicker than I had hoped for. I have come up with a way to hopefully preserve them a little bit longer and it involves flame. It's called Sho Sujipan. I probably what? really butchered that that word. It's a Japanese word, I Super believe. Blabadas. <laughs> yes, that. So um, I was hoping the the wild one would be able to help me with this because he has informed me before that whenever I'm using flame of any kind in my work in the garden or the homestead, that he should definitely be included. So, but he, this is just a busy, busy time in the college semester. He's doing dual credit college and high school, full load. So just a busy time and working also. Anyway, he has not been able to help me with this. So I'm gonna have to go it alone, which I don't really like playing with fire. So that, that's a shame that he doesn't get the joy. <laughs> okay, 
So what we're going to do is, it's a technique where you burn the surface of the wood, and a lot of people do it for um, a finishing effect. Like you build a table and then you burn the surface of the wood and it shows off the grain. You leave like the white part and the grain is dark. It can be really pretty. But of course, right now I'm not trying to use this as a beautification technique or a finishing technique. I wanted to just preserve the wood. So I'm going to kind of just torch it. I think we might be running out of propane. This is how the board turned out. So um, I didn't know how much to char it, but we ran out of propane. So uh, so that we called it a day. <laughs> We're calling it. So yeah, I'm hoping it'll last longer than the other boards have been lasting. And I'm gonna start doing this to all my raised beds. Um, I will do it on both sides next time, but this time, since I'm just replacing this board, I just did it on this side. All right. First, we're just gonna dump out this mulch on the bed and rake it out, and then we're gonna put the trellis up. Remember, my motto this year is mulch, mulch, mulch. So these are some shredded leaves from my backyard. They'll make the perfect mulch. So we're pounding in six foot stakes. We want them to be secure because the Texas wind is crazy over the plains, <laughs> right? Yeah, we don't want this to end up in our neighbor's yard, like the last one I built. <laughs> Not a tunnel trellis, it was a shade structure. Yeah, next morning in the neighbor's yard. It's really cool. It's the perfect height. I love it. This is 16 feet long. So, wow, yeah, that's gonna look cool. It's coming together, I don't believe it. Maybe I won't take this down at the end of summer. <laughs> this is a lot of work to get it back up. I hope it looks okay. All winter. <laughs> so I don't think I'm taking this down once I get it up. Oh, all right, let's get it tied together. We're using these post clips, T-post clips, that they just came free from Tractor Supply when we bought the panel. They asked us if we wanted them. So, uh, we're just, they just work with these to keep it on perfectly. You can also use zip ties. Woohoo, you guys, I have my tunnel trellis. I'm so excited, I can't wait to start growing on it. <laughs> 